Chapter 392 Complete Suppression. The eye of the Asura reveals its might. The evil eye tyrant was about to charge ahead at full speed but suddenly slowed in midair. A dim golden whirlpool appeared above its eyes, it stopped completely in place. Mass enfeeblement, spiritual confusion, two control type soul skills were unleashed, completely revealing Huo Yuao's immense control abilities. Although the evil eye tyrant appeared to be a little confused, it seemed more callous and ferocious. It saw a sword as if it were confident of crushing Huo Yuao in the next moment. The truth was that it really was that confident. While Huo Yuao's spiritual attacks were strong, it could clearly sense that Huo Yuao's soul power wasn't even at the level of a seven ring soul sage yet. Huo Yuao was much too inferior compared to it. Even a transcendent Dolor would find it difficult to fight a hundred thousand year evil eye tyrant. No soul master was willing to face the immense spiritual power and innate soul skills of this hundred thousand year soul beast. Although this evil eye tyrant had only just broken through to a hundred thousand year cultivation level, it possessed the purest bloodline of the evil eyes. It was also absolutely confident in its own abilities. While it was done that Huo Yuao's spiritual power was in the concrete material realm just like its, it was confident of crushing Huo Yuao due to the huge gap between their overall abilities. One or two control type soul skills could only temporarily restrain it. When it unleashed its full power, it was confident of easily defeating this puny human. However, it didn't know that it had made the mistake that most soul beasts made when facing human soul masters. It had underestimated its opponent. At times, a soul master's abilities couldn't be completely explained using the number of soul rings they possessed. Although this was only a rare occurrence, a soul beast would be in deep trouble if it met such a soul master. Two control type soul skills were used on this evil eye tyrant in succession, and the air in front of Huo Yuao was warped and distorted. Huo Yuao was interfering with this evil eye tyrant's spiritual senses. This time, his interference didn't cover a large area, but just a small spot in front of him. He was using it to block the evil eye tyrant's observation of him. To the evil eye tyrant, Huo Yuao's body seemed to contort and bend. It couldn't possibly see what Huo Yuao was doing under the effect of his mass enfeeblement and spiritual confusion. However, it wasn't worried at all. It managed to regain its movement in the next second. Furthermore, it was already prepared beforehand. While Huo Yuao's two control type soul skills had managed to take effect on it, their effects wouldn't be nearly as good in the future. Its huge figure was now flying at an extremely rapid speed and completely unobstructed since all obstacles had been destroyed by the spiritual storm earlier. As it flew, the silver patterns around its eyes started to shine brightly. Its sixteen tentacles opened wide, and every tentacle was flashing with intense silver light. All living matter, including plants, immediately met with disaster once they touched his tentacles because his tentacles could devour spirits. Once they struck something living, they could unleash a spiritual explosion that would enter an opponent's body and destroy their spiritual world. After that, it would devour his opponent's shattered spirit devour to nourish itself. A pure blooded evil eye tyrant like itself didn't need to ingest any food. What it needed was pure spiritual power. Who are you looked like great nourishment to it? Right now, the look in its eye had turned from arrogance to greed. Any evil eye would be extremely delighted to see such a tonic right in front of them. A terrifying beam of silver light three meters wide shot out from this evil eye tyrant's eye in the next moment. Evil eye gaze. This was one of the strongest innate offensive soul skills of an evil eye tyrant and the most frightening ability of a pure spiritual type evil eye tyrant. Its effect was similar to Huo Yuao's spiritual shock, its strength varying depending on the abilities of the evil eye tyrant unleashing it. It was rumored that the evil emperor had used it on the god beast Dtian once, causing Dtian to stop moving for around five seconds. In those five seconds, he could only passively take blows from the evil emperor. This memory came from Wang Qiyua. The huge beam of silver light quickly closed on Huo Yuao. The evil eye tyrant was deliberately merciful and didn't unleash its full strength. It was afraid that it wouldn't be able to devour Huo Yuao's spirit if he was destroyed. However, it suddenly saw an eye open when that beam of silver light was less than a meter from Huo Yuao. It was a vertical eye covered in rose gold sunray patterns, and it released black and white lights. Huo Yuao's rose gold soul ring shone at the same time. Not only this, but a will of light suddenly shone behind Huo Yuao. This will of light seemed very weird. Although it was an illusory existence formed from light, there seemed to be patterns carved onto it. It was an image of a three-eyed golden lion and a dancing golden dragon. The huge beam of silver light struck Huo Yuao's body the moment that rose gold will of light appeared. An extremely weird scene appeared at the next moment. Huo Yuao's body turned illusory, and the beam of silver light passed through his body. This beam of silver light lasted for several seconds before it disappeared. As it ranged out, a corridor several hundred meters long formed in the forest, surrounded by withered plants. Huo Yuao's illusory figure turned real again after this beam of silver light passed through his body. He wasn't hurt at all. One black and one white light shot out from his eye of destiny. The hundred thousand year evil eye tyrant was shocked that Huo Yuao was able to survive its evil eye gaze without being harmed at all, and was struck by these two streaks of light. It felt slightly dizzy before it returned to normal. It seemed as if nothing had happened at all. However, Huo Yuao could see that its eye was no longer silver. It was now black and white. The world that Huo Yuao saw was different from the world that this evil eye tyrant saw. In his eyes, he initially saw countless threads of destiny around this evil eye tyrant. However, they had been snapped at this moment. Not only this, but this evil eye tyrant was also weakening at a shocking speed. It wasn't just its soul power that was weakening, but its spiritual power, too. Huo Yuao's eye of destiny turned back to rose gold and a layer of distorted rose gold ripples started to spread from Huo Yuao's eye of destiny. When this strange layer of rose gold ripples appeared, everything around them turned to rose gold, too. On close observation, even the dust drifting in the air paused as the rose gold ripples passed over it. This evil eye tyrant was extremely sensitive and felt that something was amiss. Subconsciously, it tried to use its spiritual power to unleash its soul skills. However, it discovered that it couldn't do anything and couldn't even move its body. It was like its spiritual power had been frozen. The most terrifying thing was that it finally discovered that there was something wrong with its body. It could sense the black and white aura on it. Ah. Uh. It let out a tragic scream and struggled. It wanted to break free from the mounting fear seizing it. It managed to succeed, as the two soul skills that Huo Yuao used on it could only hold it in place for a second each. When combined, they could still only restrain it for three seconds. Changing his attack, Huo Yuao also circulated his soul power. His rose gold ripples weren't released rapidly. They only managed to reach the evil eye tyrant after the three seconds were over. The moment it regained control of its body, the evil eye tyrant tried to retreat without any hesitation. However, it discovered that it was moving at a pathetic speed like its entire body had deteriorated. It was even more horror stricken that there was an additional piece of granite on the ground right now. A piece of granite that seemed to have miraculously survived his clashes with Huo Yuao earlier. This piece of granite wasn't very large, but it still ran into it as he tried to avoid Huo Yuao's attack. Even though it immediately crushed the stone to pieces, its body still stopped without any control. It was also at this instant that the rose gold ripples reached its body. Its body immediately froze, and there was now another layer of rose gold on it. Huo Yuao was adding more colors to its body as they fought, and managed to succeed in doing so each time. The rose gold ripples spread another several hundred meters before they stopped. Within this region that now spanned 500 meters in diameter, a rose gold ocean drifting in the air seemed to appear. With Huo Yuao at its center, the sky above the evil demon forest suddenly turned gloomy. However, the dark clouds reflected golden light amidst this gloominess. Spiritual blast. Huo Yuao shouted coldly, OMOMOM. The rose gold ripples started to shake, but they were very gentle and didn't cause any destruction. Even the parts of the forest that were further away and affected by it didn't suffer at all. However, wrinkles started to appear on the evil eye tyrant's eye when this tremor reached it. After that, its body started to shake tremendously. Boo 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 boo. A series of weird noises sounded, somewhere between
Bloody silver light splattered on the ground. The streak of rose gold light had pierced through the evil eye tyrant's eye, and only left remnants on the outside. The evil eye tyrant's body was shaking uncontrollably now. Although its silver blood stopped splattering, it was still flowing out uncontrollably from the wounds on the evil eye tyrant. Even at this stage, who are you? I didn't dare to let down his guard. This was his first time facing a hundred thousand year soul beast. Light shone brightly on his back, and soul thrusters propelled him forward. In an instant, he traveled several hundred meters and arrived in front of the evil eye tyrant. The cold look in his eyes turned gentle, and they were now filled with a look of remembrance. He clenched his right fist at his waist, and all the light in heaven and earth seemed to gather towards his fist. His eyes, including his vertical eye, were shining brightly at this moment. A strong spiritual undulation caused countless thin slits to appear in the surrounding space. The fist of remembrance, a fist which contained a surging feeling of remembrance. Boom. Huo Yuao's fist struck empty space, and a huge beam of golden light hit the evil eye tyrant's body. The countless facial slits started to take effect on its body. They combined with Huo Yuao's soul and spiritual power, causing another blast to occur. Gee. A huge wound more than a meter long appeared on the evil eye tyrant's eye. It had been directly pierced through. The spiritual suppression that the evil eye tyrant had unleashed around its body stopped, and its sixteen tentacles all froze in midair. Huo Yuao trembled, but he quickly managed to stabilize himself. A streak of golden light flew back from this huge wound in the evil eye tyrant's eye and landed in his hand. It was the golden dragon spear, which had belonged to Wang Qiuwa. Immense light energy was surging towards Huo Yuao through the spear. The part of the spear that was drawn out of the evil eye tyrant was carrying a silver glow, as it continued to draw out the life energy of the evil eye tyrant and nourish him. The color on Huo Yuao's pale face was slowly returning to normal. However, he thought of something, and quickly took a step forward. He grabbed the spear with his left hand and waved. His right hand. His dark golden terracles appeared and poured out a streak of silver light that was about to rise and escape. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.